common sense. Most everybody has it, but is it really doing you or anybody else any good? Probably not. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about that problem as well as the solution of common action, so stick around. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And yes, this video we're going to be talking about common sense versus common action. See, I'm somebody who used to have an ego bigger than this entire universe. And at any given moment, I was the smartest person in the world. There was no information that you could present me with that I didn't already know. And this might sound familiar because you might be exactly the way I used to be. People said, don't do that, that's not healthy. Don't do this, that's bad for you. Don't do this, you're gonna cause your own problem. And you know what I always said? I know, I know, I know, I know. Sound familiar? A lot of us know these things, but why do we keep doing them? A lot of us have that common sense, but the problem is, is that we're not putting it into action. For example, those of you who follow my channel know that I'm a drug addict in recovery. I work with drug addicts every single day. And I often ask them, I was like, is there anybody in this room who did not know that heroin was bad for them? And you know, people get some laughs and things like that, but think about it for a second. How successful was the D.A.R.E. program? Not very. I've done a review about this in a different video where studies have shown how useless the D.A.R.E. program is. It's because a lot of this stuff is common sense. One of my last vices. Think I don't know these things are bad for me? Of course, my doctor, she knows I'm a smart dude. She knows that I know that those things are bad. I got common sense. But what good is that? Because I'm still doing that to my body. Imagine for a second, the next time that you were sitting down at McDonald's or Burger King or Carl's Jr. or eating an entire extra large pizza by yourself. And imagine somebody walking in and saying, you know what, that's bad for you. That's, that's not healthy. Would you be surprised? Probably not, because it's common sense. The problem that plagues this planet is that so many of us, we know what's right, we know what's wrong, we know things that can actually help us improve our mental health, but why aren't we putting them into practice? Now, let's start talking about mental health because that's why you're here. That's what this channel is all about, right? If you're watching this, Chances are, I probably don't even know you. I've probably never even met you, but I know that you're pretty smart. I know that you've been around the block a few times and I know that you know that if you struggle with depression, one of the solutions is to go out and exercise. It's common knowledge that exercise releases these things in your brain called endorphins as well as other neurotransmitters that can get you out of that depressive funk. So why aren't you going out and exercising? You know that's this, one of the solutions to depression, so why aren't you doing it? Ah yes, meditation. One of my favorite things, something that I didn't discover until just a couple years ago. If you're living in this age in 2017, you've probably heard a friend or read an article or seen it on the cover of the New York Times or Time Magazine where they talk about this thing called meditation. You've probably heard that meditation is a practice that lets you calm your mind, quiet down the noise. You might have even heard some of the studies that prove that meditation actually reduces your anxiety. But if you're watching this and you struggle with anxiety, you have the common sense knowing that meditation helps with anxiety, but why aren't you practicing it yet? Common sense tells us that practice makes perfect. So why is it that so many people try meditation once think it doesn't work, and they never do it again, when we know that practice makes perfect. I'm hoping that these questions are starting to sink into your head a little. I hope you're asking yourself these questions, getting some wheels turning and saying, if I know all these things, why aren't I putting something into action? And if you're having a hard time understanding this from a personal perspective, think about that friend, that friend that you have that always comes to you for advice. They always come to you for advice and you tell them and they're like, I know, I know, I know. They have this amazing self-awareness. They know that they keep getting into bad relationships. They know that they're not getting paid enough at work. They know that their job sucks and they hate going in every single day. They got that common sense. But why aren't they taking a common action, right? But these videos that I make, they're for you. I want you to share them with your friends so maybe something clicks in their head too, 
But the point is, is that you're here, you're with me, you're watching this. So I really want you to sit back and think. Think about all the common sense that you've had throughout your life and ask yourself, what are you doing with it? How far has your common sense got you? How many times had you had the common sense about something, but you didn't put it into common action? So now it's time for the question of the day. Well, it's more of a riddle, but I'm gonna ask it to you. I'm gonna pin it down in the comments below and I want you to give me your answer. Three birds are sitting on a wire. One of them makes a decision that he's gonna fly away. How many birds are left on that wire? Leave your comments down below. I wanna find out what you think about this riddle. If you think this video might be able to help somebody that you know that has the common sense but doesn't put it into action, please share it with them. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I'm Chris from The Rewired Soul. I am always doing videos about mental health, mental illness, so make sure you click that little round subscribe button down there. And also, to the left of me, check out those thumbnails right there because I'm always making more videos. There's a bunch of videos that you probably haven't even, even seen yet and it's a bunch of stuff that you can start putting into action today. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.